Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki with some thoughts on prayer as desire. A lot of times people think that there is a certain perfect way to pray, and they ask for help in knowing that method. And yet, the reality is that prayer is all about desire. So often we desire something, and we then pray for it, asking God to give it to us. But Jesus said in the Beatitudes, according to Matthew's Gospel, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be given, everything else will fall into place. All our desires should lead to this one desire, for God. And if there is a desire that leads us away from God, then we should reject it. True prayer begins with a desire for God. It begins with the Holy Spirit within us, leading us to desire God alone. As St. Paul wrote to the Romans in chapter 8, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. These sighs are the deep longings of the heart. I'm reminded of a story I heard of a great spiritual teacher whose disciple asked him to teach him how to pray. He led him to a pond, and after they both walked into the water, the teacher put his hands on his disciple and pushed him under the water. The disciple was obedient and remained in the grip of the teacher under the surface of the water until he couldn't take it anymore and, breaking free, came up coughing and gasping for breath. His teacher looked him in the eye and said, When you desired God as much as you desired that breath of air, then you'll know how to pray.